And we're back to learning GIMP. Let me show you how you can recreate this typical blueprint effect. We will work on a blue background first. Maybe I'll pick a color like this. And I use the paint bucket tool and left click on your canvas. You have a blue background now. Open a new layer, make it transparent. I'll call this checkerboard. Now we go to filters, render, pattern, and there's the checkerboard. Colors don't really matter. But let me just make them black and white, so it's this typical checkerboard design. Size it up a little bit. Size depends on the canvas size that you use and the lines that you want to have. I'm fine with this one, I'll just confirm. And now we go to filters, edge detect, and use edge. And it's going to find our lines, so we'll get a grid by doing this. It doesn't really matter what algorithm you use, just confirm and then switch the blending mode to screen right here. And then you want to go down with the opacity and you have to go down quite a lot. So you have to be in a single digit area and even below 1.0. So I'll make this numerically and I'll type it into my keyboard. Around 0 0.2, 0 0.3 should be good here. Once that is done, import the image. It's usually used for cars, planes, houses, something like this. So here's my original. I use the scale tool, shift S is the short key for it. And then resize it so that the entire object, in this case the car, fits your canvas. You definitely don't want to have it bigger than your canvas, so be careful there, but I'm fine with this one. I like to copy this so that I have the original as a backup and we'll work on a copy. Original is invisible. I believe it's checkerboard with an A, right? But anyway, we'll get back to copy. Filters, edge detect, edge yet again. And here it makes a difference what algorithm you use. You definitely want to go down with the amount as far as you can. At least I think this gives the best results. Laplace is the algorithm that gives you the least intense edges. Let me use this in our first example. As I've said, amount is at the minimum. I just confirm we are okay. Next step is we want to make this desaturated. And on my mistake here, we need to be on the copy layer. And then we'll go to colors, desaturate and desaturate. Just confirm the defaults. The mode makes a little bit of a difference, but not too much. You can try and test them out, but this is just a minor detail. I will switch this one to screen as well. Just as a reminder, this was Laplace. It's okay, but not perfect. Let us go back to the original. And this time I use a different algorithm. So we go to Edge Detect, Edge again. And I use this one, Pruitt Compass. I'll just confirm. It's more intense now. Colors, desaturate, desaturate yet again. Confirm we're okay. Switch the blending mode to screen. And now you can go down here with the opacity. When it comes to Laplace, you can't really adjust it that much more because it's already of such low intensity. But here for this Pruitt compass, you can play around with the opacity much more. This is why I would recommend using this instead of the Laplace. But yet again, it's a question of taste. So use whatever you like best here.
I'll stick to my Pruitt compass. You can still see there are some fragments, so some stuff that's not part of the car, but it was part of the original image. There might be more or less, depending on the image that you've used. We can get away or we can get rid of that by right clicking, adding a layer mask, make it fully white. We are on the layer mask right here. And then I use the brush tool, make black your foreground color, adjust the size a little bit and then paint over it. Just like this. You may have to readjust the size here and there and then go over the small little details. But this is the way to deal with these fragments that you don't want to have. And finally, you can add some text if you want to. Use the type tool. When you've typed it in, press Ctrl A and you can adjust it, make it white. And here as well, you may have to adjust the opacity a little bit so that it fits the intensity of your car design or the object design that you've got. And this is the process that you can use to create this blueprint effect in GIMP. I hope this video was helpful, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.